learn your damn numbers, okay? Uh, we've had thousands of people come to ShareLingo, uh, a lot of beginners, a lot of basic, a lot of intermediate, a lot of advanced. I cannot believe how many intermediate and advanced Spanish learners still don't really know their numbers. I mean, yes, they know uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. But if somebody says uh, it's seven and they have to go uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, okay, that's not good. Counting on your fingers is not good. Now, this is super, super important because as you interact with the world, if you go travel, if you're um, you know, in Mexico, or even if you're local, you're going to use numbers. You use them for shopping. You use them to tell people your phone number, your address, how much does something cost? So learn your numbers the same way that you know them in English, right? Uh, for example, if you see a seven, you just know it's siete. You don't have to count uno, dos, tres, right? Also, these numbers that you're not familiar with, like um, 50, 15, 500, right? Um, you just need to know those. You need to be like, when somebody says 500, it just needs to flash in your head. That's 500. That's what I'm talking about. Now, the best way to practice this, obviously, is with a native Spanish speaker. If you and a Spanish speaker are practicing numbers, they need to do the same thing. They need to learn one, two, three, four, five, and they learn to need to learn the difference between 50 and 15. Very difficult for them to pronounce. You can help them with that. But hold up flashcards, like literally this, like, you know, uno, siete, cinco, once, quince. Now, when you get up into the other things, like cincuenta, or like I said, quinientos, you just need to know that. When you see that number, you think it's quinientos. That's it. If you hear quinientos, it's that number. All right. Another thing, years, 1975. They will never say 1975. Spanish speakers don't use 19 for 1900 ever. It's going to be 1975. All right. Same with the 2000. You will never hear them say 2024. They just don't do that. It's 2024. 2024. Always. Another thing uh, that you get into is phone numbers. If we have a phone number like 303-555-1212, you will often see Spanish speakers or hear Spanish speakers break that up into two number pairs instead of individual numbers. 303-555-1212, 303, right? Cinco, 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 uno, dos, uno, dos. That's what we want to say. But what you probably hear is 30, 35, 55, 12, 12. Now, if you're not ready to hear that, you're going to have no idea. You're going to say, what's your phone number? And they say, 30, 35, 55, 12, 12. And you have no idea what they just said, because that's not what you were expecting. Hold up some flashcards, make some flashcards, practice them with your language partner uh, and do that. One last thing, um, you will, obviously you will want to run into money. If you're getting a hotel room, if you're buying milk at the supermarket, whatever you're doing, if you're ordering at a restaurant, you need to understand the money. How much is it? 3418. You might hear something like 34 con 18, right? They say with 18, 34 with 18 cents. All right. So if you can get used to these, everything you do is going to be a lot better, whether you're interacting with your doctor, with your kid's teacher, with uh, if you're traveling. Numbers are so, so important. And the best way to master your numbers is to do them randomly so that um, you, you just know the numbers. Now, probably never, ever are you going to do your multiplication tables in Spanish. You always do them in English. Two times two is four. Four times four is 16. That's fine. But you need to know that 16 is the SEC. After you do the four times four, the SEC. Okay, there you go. So that's my advice for today. I'm James. Ciao for now.